Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana Gear Up YouTube channel. We're so excited that you joined us today. As Indiana Gear Up works to build capacity and resources and to be of support to our schools, teachers, parents, students, and community partners, we first want to let you know of ways in which we can connect. As you're joining us today on our YouTube channel at Indiana Gear Up, please subscribe to our page, share with your friends, family, any community members that may be interested in learning more about the resources or projects that we're working on uh, throughout the remainder of the year into the summer, professional development that we have, as well as preparing for next year. Uh, you can find us on social media platforms such as Facebook at Indiana Gear Up, Twitter at Indiana Gear Up, as well as Instagram at Indiana Gear Up. Also, you can reach out to us via email, indianagearup at purdue.edu. We have staff members behind the scenes who are readily available to answer any questions that you may have. Um, today, we'll be looking at how you connect with us on our website at indianagearup.org. And more specifically, our resource tab that's available for teachers right now. Um, we have an Indiana Gear Up COVID-19 resource folder that's available and it's free. This was developed um, by a seasoned expert of team, uh, a team of regional directors um, who have really just have an ample amount of experience in the education field. Uh, there are several documents here um, that you can browse through and use at your leisure. Uh, today, more specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the Gear Up Educational website resources. And each day we're going to be sharing a tutorial on one of these websites that is specific to the subject for the high school level, the link that is available, the description, as well as the services that are currently offered. Again, we hope that, that this can be of use to you now or in the near future for teachers, uh, staff members, parents, um, or community members. So enjoy. All right, the educational website resource we're providing today is C-SPAN. Uh, dot org, and this is a C-SPAN classroom that is available. And what's nice about this particular website is that it allows access to thousands of free digital resources, including current events, lesson plans, uh, constitutional clips, bell ringers, as well as video-based material and content. Um, so we're going to be taking a look up here on the toolbar, uh, specifically today, bell ringers. And these are really just two to possibly five minute clips of videos that you can present to students as an introductory piece to the classroom. And this will really help encourage uh, discussion uh, at the beginning of the class, uh, helping students understand how to compare and contrast various topics, uh, debating, uh, looking at viable arguments, uh, maybe with su summarizing a specific topic or uh, an extension activity is to research the actual topic and, and extend upon uh, the content that is presented in that bell ringer video. So today uh, we'll just select a topic here in science and technology for instance and as you can see you can kind of scroll through some of the current events, uh, roles of the World Health Organization, uh, specifically related to COVID-19, or uh, the second topic today, which we'll take a look at, is identifying fake news sources. And there is a five-minute video clip here that really goes through extensively about interactive media and um, really how students can know that there is a major shift in knowing a professional source versus a layperson source or a third party, um, and really how social media uh, plays a major role in the content or credibility of a source that is being presented. A lot of times it, for students, it is based on the number of likes, the comments, or the shares of the content that they take at face value. And really a lot of times they, as they see this, they believe it. So this really goes through pretty thoroughly in a five minute video of um, how to identify those fake news sources and really evaluate and understand a professional, professional source versus a layperson source. So that is just one way that you may be able to incorporate a topic into your classroom as a bell ringer. Again, 
that tab that is provided on the initial page and the topics that are available through uh, the various content here is going to be extremely beneficial for students to keep up with current events and various topics that are um, at the surface and forefront of the world. So we hope that you are able to use this in the near future and please continue to tune in with us and learn more about our educational website resources that we have to share. Have a great day.